YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, guys. Um, I am your girl, Vivi Bellanoy, across all my social media platforms. Of course, if you please would subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, of course, get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. But you guys already know <clears throat> we're talking about my plus size lingerie haul and like i told you guys this haul is coming in from different items from amazon and some other places as well walmart.com and one other place as well but i told you this is going in comfort levels so where you're comfortable at what you're comfortable wearing not price levels but just comfortable as far as you as a woman how comfortable you are just whatever it may be but if you're ready to go ahead and let's just see from the more subdued comfortable here to the all out type of lingerie if you're ready then let's keep watching you're my beautiful one taking me home Okay, guys, so before we get into these trial hauls, try on hauls, I think it's important for you guys to know my measurements because seeing somebody say, hey, I'm a size large or I'm a size 3X, that doesn't help you guys in the least bit because it really depends on their measurements. So my chest is a 53. If you guys can see that, I'm a 53 for the chest. And for the waist, I am right there so that is a 49 for the waist and for the hips going across the widest part of my hips I'm coming in right at 56 and a half and for my thighs this is also part of my weight loss measurements so killing two birds with one stone for my thighs I am 32 for the thighs and for the arms would help if I made somebody come help me do measurements that would be great <laughs> going across the largest part of my arm I'm coming in at uh, 20 20 and three quarters so just so you guys actually know the measurements before we start to get into this so that way you guys know okay and also before we start to get into these trial hauls it's also important that you guys know that I am five foot nine and currently this one and I weigh myself I am 309 pounds so that way you get an idea of not just my height and size but also my body measurements so you can take all of that into consideration when you're ordering different outfits whether you feel like you need to size up or size down Okay, so the next thing that we're going to go ahead and get into are the three loungewear around the house sleeper sets that you guys have. So we have it in the green and red, we have it in the blue and red, and we have it in the black, red, and white. We're going to go ahead and get into the try-on for all three of these because all three of these fit differently, and I'll explain more to you as the try-on continues. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the first outfit Coming in from the Amazon try on haul. I'm putting the information on the screen. This is in a 2XL. This is the sleeper set that I was telling you guys about that um, actually <laughs> no bra is needed with the actual outfit. But anyway, uh, it is. <laughs> okay, so just because you can fit into it don't mean you can actually fit it. Because the fact that when I put it on. It won't stay down. It immediately wants to roll back up. It's too small, but you know, it's just something you're wearing around the house. But this is what the outfit actually looks like. I love the red piping on the actual side going around it. The arms and the top makes it really look really nice. It is really, really scratchy. So just know that even though this is a 2X, you still have room in the actual bottoms for things to actually be able to scratch out. And here it is from the actual back. And there it is from the actual side, so you guys can see everything from the actual side. And you just be sitting there like, yeah. <laughs> I like it. And the reason why I wanted to try on all colors, because like I was telling you guys, sometimes the different colorways of certain outfits, even though it could be the same material, for some odd reason, they're cut differently. So this is the 
green and red one. And I just always tie mine in a knot. So that way as I'm pulling them on and doing different things, I don't have to worry about this coming out in the wash or anything like that. Now let's try on the next colorway. Okay, so here it is in the actual blue and red colorway. This one was a little bit more scratchy and it's not rolling up as bad as the green one was. So this one seems like it has just a little bit more room. When I say just a little bit more room, I'm talking about maybe half an inch more space. But here it is. And this is the blue and red colorway. Now here we are in the black, white, and red colorway. The black one seems to be longer for the crop top and also longer in the actual shorts. But the arms on this one is a whole lot tighter than the arms on the other two. So just take that into consideration. Still very scratchy as far as the material, how much space and everything you guys have within the actual material. So you do have room. It's just, you know, again, um, all three of these are actually too small for me. I would have needed the 3X, but they don't come in the 3X. And as far as just chilling around the house with your boo or with your bae or whatever, these are great around the house pieces, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, this one definitely is longer for the actual shorts. And also longer with the actual top, because the top almost could come all the way down. If you want to go ahead and pull it all the way up, you could, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to wear it quite that way. So it is longer in this one, but the arms are tighter. So just giving you guys a, uh, a review of all three of them. All three of them fit differently. All three of them size differently. All three of them have different lengths as far as what they're doing. So just a heads up, guys. But I absolutely love these. They are so soft. And again, you don't have to wear a bra with these because of the way they hold uh, your body in and your chest in. If you're getting it fitted to your body, it will hold you in. If you're getting it more loose, then yeah, you're not going to have any type of support in these shirts just to give you guys a heads up. But of course, you know, I am going to go ahead and insert what it looks like on the model versus what it looks like on me so that way you guys have an idea okay so this little blue velvet crush lace mesh set is a really cute set um if you already have per perky breasts or smaller breasts or firmer breasts that just normally just sit up naturally or if you have fake breasts or whatever then yeah this is a perfect set for you but if you have natural everyday real woman type breasts gain weight lost weight had children didn't have children then your breasts don't necessarily just okay your breasts aren't like this you know outside of a bra then this is gonna be a really cute outfit for you to lay on the bed and be like hey <laughs> um yeah i would just i would just wear this laying on the bed because it's like Cause you know when you're on the bed you can kind of maneuver them how you want them to or when you're standing up you just can't be standing there all the time like yeah nobody got time for that i'm gonna show you more about this as we get ready to roll this clip and the second part of this is getting into where you feel a little bit more comfortable being risque now i did go ahead and show you guys the blue matching bralette and underwear i can't show you all of the back of the outfit um youtube <laughs> It's funny how they allow certain creators to put up content and it's fine, it's cool, no problems, no issues, but when other creators put it up, they're demonetized or the video is blocked or they can get a strike on their channel depending on what it may be. So for that reason, I won't be able to show you guys fully a lot of the different back shots just simply because of how it's fitting across my body. It also has a lot to do with your skin color as far as what YouTube will uh, strike or demonetize and also how curvy you are. Different outfits look different on a, a woman who is five foot one, 120 pounds versus it's gonna look on me at five foot nine, 300 pounds. So that is something I want you guys to keep in reference. But this is the bra set. You have absolutely no, when I tell you no type of support with this. So this is just something that you're putting on. If you had a uh, pasties that will hold your bra, your breasts up or the rabbit, then at that point you could actually see let me get a little closer so you guys can see then you would actually be able to see the detail right there 
and it's really really pretty with the same mesh lace cut out that's that's cut out right here at the actual top of this one actually mirrors the mace cut out right down here and in the back you do get a little bit more of a cut out with it going across the actual back i can't turn completely around because uh youtube the youtube don't play that but that's what it looks like going across the actual back which is really really pretty across both sides of it you guys are actually able to see what it would actually look like on with the whole cutout area and everything being cut out in the actual back just to show you guys a little bit as far as what i'm able to actually show but this is a really great i'm fine i'm cool just throwing something on you know if you had more support of course a depending on patience or something then you could actually see the cage the same cage that's on the front of the bralette is a bigger cage on the actual back of the underwear just so you guys would know and see but that is one set now i'm gonna show you a different robe to put over okay so the first two pieces that i'll come in and show you guys are the actual robes and like i said the robes are very comfortable bridal wear wedding day type robes every day around the house getting dressed doing your makeup robes like that now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the robes Okay, so this is the next one. This is the black kimono, kimono robe that I told you guys was actually for um, weddings and bridal parties. It does come with this tie right here that you're supposed to take and tie to this other tie that's right here. So what you'll do is you'll take and tie it on your actual side. And you guys have seen me filming this robe quite a lot. So you'll take and tie it to your side like that. You can take and tie it to your side, and then you can go ahead and pull it around. Um, these robes do come slightly larger than this if you need one that's slightly larger. It does have the little belt loops on it, but because I'm so tall, the belt loops are too high for me. So I don't use the belt loops, but you would just take and just pull the front across kimono style and go ahead and tie it up with the actual tie that it comes with. You can do this as tight or as loose as you want to, just depending on what you're trying to do. But here it is in the black for the kimono row. And it's not too short, so it just really depends on, you know, how, how big your butt is, just knowing that it's going to stop like right there on you. So that is something you want to go ahead and pay attention to when you're actually trying on the different pieces as far as what and when you're going to wear it as far as what you're comfortable with but this is a piece you can do you know with your maid or whatever the tighter you tie the actual belt the more it actually stay closed so here's the first one and this is in the black with the flower pattern just so you guys see and i like the material because it is a stretchy rayon material and it feels so good on the skin so absolutely love this one I liked it so much, I did go ahead and get it in white, so let's go ahead and show that. Okay, same same thing with this one. You have your ties that you can go ahead and tie with it to the front. I don't need the ties since I've already showed you guys that. And it does come with the actual belt that you guys can put on with it. So here it is with white. Again, the white one is coming down a little bit longer than the black one did. They're both the actual same size. It's just, again, like I was telling you guys, when it comes to different colorways for the exact same style of piece of clothing, I don't know why, but from time to time, manufacturers, it's just cut differently. This one definitely feels more like a 3X, and that one felt like a 2X, but they're both listed as 2X on the site. So just so you guys know. Next robe we're going to go ahead and talk about is this actual lace three-piece robe that you guys saw coming in from Amazon with all three pieces. And again, I'm leaving the information here on the screen for you but let's go ahead and get into this black lace robe now here is the next robe that you can go ahead and put over it now this is the one i did show you guys it does come with the g-string panties with the actual movable part of the actual g-string panty so you do get the g-string panties with it you do go ahead and get a silk belt to actually put on your actual robe so it does come in a three-piece again this is a 4x and I really needed it because of my actual arms. But this is what the actual 4X looks like. And 
And again, I just have on that blue set underneath. So you can do this with either one of the silk kimono robes or you can do it with the actual lace black see-through robe. Just, you know, whatever makes it better, easier, and more comfortable for you guys. Now, this one, this lime green uh, two-piece set, absolutely stunning, beautiful. I love this, I love this, I love this. I am gonna size down. I'm gonna get it one size small and I'm gonna get it in some other colors. I really did love this one. Let's go ahead and roll the clip on this one. Outside of this G-string thong thing, the G-string thongs with these sets are trash, they're horrendous. Use your own G-strings and thongs because they're trying to get this to fit correctly across my butt in between, you know, the booty cheeks. This this hurt. It was just all over the place. I, I cannot. So, yeah, I'm going to use my own thongs with it. But this, beautiful. Let's roll the clip on this. Okay, so with trying out the next pieces, I'm going to turn on the light so you can see the pieces a little bit better. But before we get into that, I told you guys you can either use booby tape when you're trying on certain pieces as far as lingerie or clothes to actually wear out in public. You can use booby tape to avoid having to wear a full bra. This works really well. Or you can use the rabbits. And I just, I don't know where my rabbits are right now. <laughs> I don't know how I lost them. They're the ones that pick up around your nipple. And they have two little ears that you just uh, attach here to keep taking hold your breasts up. Or you guys could actually go ahead and try the brassy bra. I love the brassy bra when I'm wearing different outfits. And for me, I am a 44 triple D. And I did go ahead and get the brassy bra in a size double D through quadruple D and I got mine in Coco. So let's go ahead and show you guys. This is the Breasty Bra Cross to give you like more information as far as how you could do it, how you could set it up, what makes sense. They do give you the nipple covers right here for your pasties. And this is the actual Breasty Bra that I would use, just depending on how you turn it and how you use it, just depends on how the front of the outfit is actually cut out. But those are two options for your outfit. I'm gonna back up and show you guys this one a little bit more. I'm um, showing it to you with the lights turned down first before I turn the lights back up. But this one you don't necessarily need to wear the rabbits or breasty bra with because it does, you know, it does kind of hold the girls up. Now, if you want your girls more like this, you're gonna need either one of those tape options, but you don't necessarily need it. This is in a 4X, and these, okay, this G-string is horrendous. When I tell you the back that slides, the way it slides, it makes one leg smaller than the other leg, so it is weird. It just doesn't sit correctly into the V, into your actual butt in the back. It, it is so weird. Like this, okay, this G-string is weird. I wouldn't wear this G-string with this outfit because it's just weird. But here's the actual outfit. And it is in a size 4X. I went ahead and turned out a light so you guys can actually see the actual true color. And as you can see, the G-string is way the heck over here. Like why? Jesus, why? Doesn't make any sense for it to be that far over. Like there you go. Jesus, why? And I, I, I literally fought with it for about three minutes before I was like, fuck it. I'm tired, <laughs> I don't have time. But this is the actual outfit. Again, if you want it more like this, then either get a smaller size because it is super scratchy. So you do have space and room for it. It super scratches. So I probably could have went ahead and got this in a 3X. Um, if I order this in different colors, I'll go down the size and get it in a 3X. But this is the actual outfit. Uh, lingerie style. I know some people would just wear this out as an actual dress. I would not. Um, I have other dresses and stuff I could wear out for that actual purpose. Now I'm going to turn up the lights and show it to you with the lights turned up. Okay, so now as I step back, you guys can still see it, but I wanted you to see how bright and vibrant the neon green was. So it doesn't come across as yellow. It's really a true, beautiful neon green. But again, this is the actual outfit. No complaints or issues with the actual outfit. I actually like it it's comfortable it's something with easy access for you guys to be able to do but yet you're still covered without having any issues and as i'm moving around and stuff these haven't popped out they hadn't fell out they hadn't started to do that weird slide thing okay 
ladies with bigger breasts, you know what I'm talking about. When you finally get your breasts sitting where they should be sitting, and then all of a sudden one of them start to do that weird slide thing, and your breasts just be looking like wah, wah, wah. Yeah, no, I haven't had that problem with this outfit. Um, even though um, one of my breasts is slightly bigger than the other, it's fuller. I have more volume in one breast than the other, and one breast is a lot higher than the other. Child, please, it's having kids. I don't know what to tell you. But uh, yeah, you can tell right there from where the lines of my breasts actually start. Whatever it's like, get over it. But this is an option for you guys and for you ladies. So if you're just thinking about it, looking into it or anything like that, this is an option for you. Let's take a look at the next one. Hot mess, hot mess, hot mess. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Hot mess for me because again, ladies, you'll see in the clip we're about to go over. If you have large breasts, yeah, this ain't gonna work. This this thing this ain't gonna work. I don't even think it's about. I think in the video I said it's about me losing a little bit more weight. It's not even about me losing weight, child. It's just my breast size just won't allow me to be great in this type of lingerie. But if you have smaller breasts, maybe a C. Okay, a C cup is pushing it. But B A mm, perfect, perfect for this, perfect for this because I know there are a lot of plus size girls who aren't like D. Double D, triple D, like some of the plus size girls out there have a B and C cup. So, or if you're smaller and you were looking at this, just know even if you get it in a small or a medium and you got double D's, triple D's, anything bigger than that, boo, this is not gonna be your friend. Roll the clip. Okay, so this next one is a complete and utter fail. Complete and utter fail because <laughs> the top is so high. So this is where your breasts are supposed to fit. But because of the way it goes across the actual back, it's just a complete and utter fail. And it's supposed to sit at a real sexy level. It does come with these little garter things that you can hook on and hook it to some stockings or something. From the actual side, it's just, it's too, one, it's too small. <laughs> We're gonna lose more weight for this to even fit. And uh, even with me losing weight, the me losing weight isn't the problem, it's the my chest area because I have a large chest. My chest just won't sit into the slots it's supposed to up here and it's hurting, it's pulling down on my neck so bad. Like, I'm not even understanding how, you know, sometimes you have lingerie that's supposed to be cute and sexy and it hurts for a moment. This is hurting my actual neck. So if you have a smaller chest, then this will work for you. But if you're more top heavy, girl, pass on this one because this one will not work. Now, the next thing are the actual fishnets. Um, remember guys, I already had these exact same fishnets coming in from Amazon. So I'll leave the ones from Amazon here on the actual screen. I did try them on, I didn't see the point. They were the exact same fishnets. And also the same fishnets that came in from the supplier on Walmart. They, they both pretty much are the same the style, design, stretch, and everything. It's just they came packaged differently, but they, they're they the same. The fishnets with the attached garter, they're the actual same. Um, I'm gonna leave both of them up there for you guys. Just know I only tried on the one from Walmart, but let's go ahead and roll that clip. Okay, so this next piece, <laughs> you guys remember these? that I had showed you guys last time. You see how it fits on her? How it stops right above her knee so you can see more of the string leading up to the garter around her waist. These are the fishnets with the attached garter belt option. Well, child on me. <laughs> let's see if I can actually do this correctly. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's see if I can actually show this to you guys the correct way. Uh, yeah, maybe it would be slightly different, <laughs> a different type of way. Okay, so on me, this is this is what they are. Like literally, okay. So literally, this is super scratchy. You do have a lot of scratch and play in them. When I first sat down to try these on, I was like, girl, these is not getting across these thighs. This thing is super scratchy. Again, I'm five foot nine, so I you could easily, easily be six foot two and still fit these perfectly down to the feet. My toes didn't burst through or anything. This is what they actually look like in the actual back. Um, it's really pretty. I'm not, you know, don't have any problems or issues with it. It's super pretty. And there it is on the actual side. I actually like these. Um, I just wish that, you know, 
they went down a little bit longer so you can actually see more of the actual garter coming down it but you know whatever it could be because you know I went ahead and pulled them all the way up too but these are super pretty like no problems no issues like I really do like this and especially you know for people who aren't quite comfortable you know being in too much lingerie this will be a happy medium because you guys can still just put on a nice pair of underwear I just put these on for YouTube purposes I ain't trying to get in trouble uh, violate no terms and conditions but here it is let's see if I can show you guys more of the actual back so it does go pretty high up on the actual waist if you guys can actually see and you could even take it higher than that on the waist if you wanted to just depending on where you want it to actually sit on your actual waist but these are really nice and I like the fact that as I walk and move and do different things they're not actually coming down well obviously not because of the straps in the front and the back they're not but I'm not getting any type of I mean you still get that rubbing together noise but it's just not as loud you know if you have thick thighs, you know you wear stockings, how it makes that swoosh, 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 swoosh noise. Listen, it's not too loud and it's not getting caught or anything or creating any type of weird rips or anything. I like these. I do like them. I'm not having any problems or issues with them. So for me, these are a complete and utter win. The actual feet. I'm not worried about my toes coming through or anything like that. So for me, these are an absolute win. If you wanted to pull it lower on your stomach, if you were trying to hide something, or if you wanted to keep it higher on your stomach, just, you know, whatever makes sense for you is where you want to keep it. And again, super stretchy. So my plus size girls, this is one that stretches and moves with you. And it'll take and just, you know, go ahead and hold you in with what you want to hold in, what you want to hide whatever rows are happening it'll it'll take and camouflage the things you don't want shown while highlighting some of your great assets just put it like that so for me this is this is a win um maybe i'm too short for it which is weird for me to be five foot nine uh if you're shorter than me girl <laughs> this thing gonna be all the way up to your throat i'm just giving you a heads up if your thighs are smaller than mine um i'm guessing that it does scratch and move with you so i would definitely go ahead and give it a try out it was definitely a very affordable piece and then now we're getting into the lace body suits this was absolutely beautiful i wish i could have showed you guys exactly how beautiful this was um, but of course I had to have on underwear with it and my brassy bra with it. So kind of, kind of, I showed as much as I could within my parameters here with my actual YouTube channel. But this thing was absolutely stunning, beautiful, and ladies, that is exactly what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like with no underwear on. Like it just, because of the way it cups, because of the way it comes up on the sides and it cups down low, it makes your butt sit up and it makes your butt look even bigger. And girl, when you've been over front of back with this, birth control ain't gonna be able to save you. You and your ancestors getting pregnant. Okay, so I have on my brassy bra with it. So it's completely covered. But okay, so this is what that one looks like. And of course, you know, I have another one because you know, you do. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. It does come with like the little stitching right here so it keeps the straps separated across your shoulders. So I can definitely appreciate that. And this is what the back would actually look like. And it's super scratchy, ladies. Super scratchy. Like you can definitely be bigger than me. I've already given you guys my weight size and measurements to actually see it. But this... This is absolutely beautiful. Of course, you wouldn't have the underwear on with it, duh, obviously. But um, yeah, this is beautiful. And it makes it kind of hard for you guys to really actually be able to see the actual stunningness of it. Maybe if I pull them down a little bit with, while still being covered, you guys can actually see a little bit more of it. And it doesn't do the weird rubbing thing right here in between your actual uh, thighs. So I can appreciate that. And it's super scratchy. The only complaint is the little toe has the reinforced part on it, but your your toes won't stay inside the reinforced. They keep popping through. But past that point, 
it's like, um, how long would you expect to actually have this on anyway? You know what I'm saying? So this is really nice. I didn't rip or tear anything. It took me like maybe all of two or three minutes to get into it. If you're used to putting on fishnets and different things, then you won't have any problem with this actual one. But I really do like this one. And again, I had to put on the brassy bra because nobody got time for that. But yeah, okay, so what do you guys think? I absolutely adore, adore this one. I can't wait to see the other one. I just wish it was like a little bit more designed up here because it's looking a little distressed with the actual little uh, tabs and things. Like the way it's fitting on her is, uh, it's almost like you would want to kind of size down a little bit for it. And as you can see, the way it's scratching, the way it would actually scratch across your actual shape, you see you have that gap right there in the back, so it's not actually laying flat to your actual shape. It's actually gonna, you know, scratch out a little bit. But I like that this material gives you a lot of jiggle, wiggle, and movement. That movement. The movement is what we came to see, okay? It's the movement. And so. then the last one I went ahead and tried on was this one. Um, it is a crotchless, it's, it's, it's a bodysuit with attached garters to it, so it is completely closed ac across, you know, your bottom groin area up to your butt, and it's crotchless, so it'll open. It has those two flaps. I ripped mine, you know, Russian, get it, getting it on, you know, whatever. But be careful. Just take your time. They're not super delicate, but just take your time when you're putting them on. And this keyhole in the front, um, it's super scratchy. So, for me, the keyhole was just super big, like super, super big. I guess they take it into consideration, you know, it is queen, so it's for women that are even bigger than me and women that have even bigger chests. But for me, the keyhole was just too big and the back was really, really pretty. Now, the way this back is cut out is super sexy because it immediately stops and cups right here with your actual butt and then it busts out into these garters down the side. This makes your butt look so amazing because of the way this fishnet cutout design is right here on the back. From the back, all you see is just, just butt, just butt. I don't care what size your butt is. All you see on this one from the back is butt. So if the person you're messing with, if they're really enamored by behinds, get this one. You will love this. Okay, again, Brassy Raw and underwear. But this is what the last one looks like. I really like this one because again, a lot of movement. This one was super easy to get into. This one is more regular fishnets on the bottom. So I don't have to worry about my feet popping through or anything like that. But this is what this one looks like. Of course, you know, you have it going net across your actual butt right here. So it does go up. Here's the actual back of it. So again, I definitely like this one. And this is what this one looks like. And I really do like it. Uh, I did kind of rip it a little bit. <laughs> Again, if you guys are getting this and wearing it, slow down when you're putting it on. Because I ripped it just a little bit over here. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that was all my fault. But this one is super pretty. Super easy. Really nice to actually put on. To actually wear. No problems. No issues. Of all of the ones I tried on, this one is the most comfortable, most easy. And of course, you know, it's open. So if you don't have on your underwear and everything, then you won't have any problems or issues like that. It does come with this mesh. So it is an actual bodysuit that actually comes through, but it is crotchless. So this is something that you guys won't even have to take off when you're actually with your partner. So you won't have any problems or issues there. And again, that is the actual outfit. So for this one, no problems, no issues. This one is a complete thumbs up. Just showing it to you a little bit closer. So you guys can actually see what the actual bottom part of the actual legs and different things actually look like. And what I was saying about my actual toes and stuff, just so you guys can actually see, it's just regular fishnet. So you could actually wear this underneath your outfit. And then when you get back home into your hotel, boom, you're already ready for adult time. So this is just something so you guys can actually see close up actually what it actually looks like on and everything. So what do you guys think? I love them.
Okay guys, so that is it for my plus size lingerie PJ try on haul. Just to give you guys some options again. Just, it's just about your comfort level, wherever you are comfort wise, you know, I definitely understand that, you know, everyone isn't comfortable at different levels and that's fine, baby girl, that's totally fine. But I just want to tell you that if he or she is with you, they already know what you look like. They've already been with you. They already love you for who and what you are. They're not with you for superficial type stuff. So, did they die? Did they die? Girl, you better go rock that. But anyway, YouTube, hopefully you guys really like this actual haul from me. Um, starting to get into the shapewear hauls later before I started to do the clothing hauls. But I want you to guys to have a beautiful holiday season. Um, I filmed this this morning and it's going up tonight. So this is Thanksgiving Eve. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. This video is going up tonight for you guys. So I'm about to start working on editing and getting this up for you guys. Probably going to go up a little late because <laughs> I got to piece it together. But this is going up tonight for you guys. But anyway, guys, I love you so much. I want you to have a beautiful and safe Thanksgiving tomorrow. Wear your mask as much as you can. I just want you guys to really enjoy tomorrow and be thankful for the people around you, what you have. Just reflect on what makes you thankful in this moment, especially in 2020. YouTube, you guys, you know I don't care when you watch me in the morning, afternoon, evening, or late at night. I'm just beyond words that you continue to come back and spend time with me and show love on my videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, YouTube. Have a safe Thanksgiving tomorrow and a beautiful holiday season. Be safe and careful out there with these Black Friday sales, these small business Saturday sales, and this Cyber Monday sales and everything. Spend your money wisely, of course, but be safe and careful if you guys are actually going out with different crowds and different things like that. I love you, YouTube. Bye.